shows them all. Yeah, just give me one second, buddy. Let these gentlemen go in and take a look at that. So when they went in it, it came right back up. <laughs> the, hel the helicopter originally there were no stairs. Right. But we added it because it was a flying museum. So we needed it like, like today for people to be able to get in and out. And I told them I only collected a bucket. <laughs> The UH-34D was a war horse in every, every definition of, of those words. Uh, it was a uh, assault and transport aircraft and maybe some of, some of you hitched a ride out of a really bad place. I know Bill Weiss, that's what you said, the last time you were in this aircraft of this type, you were in a stretcher. And we're glad you're with us today. And maybe this aircraft had a lot to do with it. This helicopter started flying in Marine Corps colors in the late 1950s and wasn't retired until the early 70s. And that included seven years of service in, in Vietnam. And we're so grateful that we're getting an aircraft with this kind of combat provenance. After thousands of hours of restoration and the efforts of many of these dedicated volunteers, we were able to participate in over 30 air shows and Marine Corps events and throughout the United States to share the history and the personal experiences with the public. Thank you to the National Museum of the Marine Corps and the Marine Corps Heritage Foundation for agreeing to serve as the caretakers of this beloved lady and providing a home and opportunity for her to continue her mission in the future. We all talk about heroes. And we talk when we say heroes, we're talking about people. I would turn around and I would say, there is the biggest hero. That hero behind us carried thousands of people out of combat situations that were hurt, wounded, and could not get home without her. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.